you screw the little screw right through his mouth, which is, I mean, I kind of like it that you do that, but it's a little weird. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I know that you are tuning into my channel and you're thinking, it's one o'clock. Misty, why aren't you having a live sale? Well, it's because we are moving Emma back to college today. Yes, I know, I'm very upset about it as well, but you know, she's almost 21 years old. She's going off to college and I'm just gonna have to deal with it. So this video, to save a little bit of my sanity in the process of just coming back from vacation, and now we've done, we are, we're currently at her college location for the rest of the week, I thought I would just go ahead and do another eBay auction video. I've gotten a lot of response about these videos and people have liked them because, you know, it is sometimes difficult to get something that you're wanting during the live sales because the connection's different for everyone and, you know, it's a whole big thing. So my plan is to next week continue with the live sales as, you know, normally, scheduled one o'clock on Wednesdays. I'm also also going to have a couple of mini sales on Instagram. So make sure that you are following me on Instagram, Thrifter Junker, Vintage Hunter, it's right down there. Um, and I will be having some mini live sales throughout the week, all during the day. So you can check those things out as well. I'm mainly, I'm, I've got a lot of vintage clothing that I'm, I'm really trying to move out. So I'm going to be having a sale very soon on Instagram to, you know, get rid of some of the clothing. Now, if you are a clothing reseller, you want to make sure that you do watch those videos because I have a lot of good vintage things and I'm selling them to get rid of them. So you will still be able to make a profit on them if you are selling them online yourself. This video is a fun video for me to do. I like to talk about some of the things that I'm getting ready to list on eBay because it, it, it gives me the opportunity to describe things. If there's any issues with things, it's easier to, to say them than to type them. So I do like this format. So I have some things that are all available. As soon as this video goes live, they're available to make a bid on if you would like to. So this is a little Norcrest Mama Pig planter. Look at her face and her eyelashes. Doesn't she look a little, I mean, she looks a little tired. And let me tell you why. She's got four little piggies on this side and four little piggies on this side. And we all know what they're doing right now. So she's, she's a tired mom. She's a good girl. She's a good mama. Now there is one small little issue with her and she's got one little chip in her little snout right there. Can easily be fixed with a little bit of pink paint. I myself would leave it just as it is because that's just the kind of person that I'm in. But a very cute little nursery planter. It's very unusual. I don't know, normally you see like little trains and ducks and you don't normally see a breastfeeding pig as a planter. But here you go. Now you can have one. So that is available as an auction. And let me show you the next thing. Now, I don't even like to touch this thing. I think I have shown this in a haul before. Now I love me some Holt Howard. Love, love, love Holt Howard. Love it. But I don't like him at all. Uh, the only thing that I like about him is that he's Holt Howard. Now, he is missing what I think is a thermometer or something, but he's a Holt Howard light switch cover. So if you're starting a Holt Howard collection, this is a good starting piece for you. It is marked with a Holt Howard Japan sticker on the back. It doesn't have any flaws other than it is missing the little, I think it's a thermometer or something. I need to... You know, Misty, you should have looked this up before you made this video, but I didn't. The thing that's odd about this is that you screw the little screw right through his mouth, which is, I mean, I kind of like it that you do that, but it's a little weird. And then like throw the, another little buttonhole. Does not come with the original screws, but it doesn't have any chips or flaws on it anywhere other than, you know, whatever that is, but we'll, we'll see if we can figure that out. So this is also available as an auction on eBay right now. All right, I have a set of three of these. Sadly, not a set of four, but a set of three. They're all identical. They are the Syracuse China restaurant wear plates. And I fell in love with the coloring on here. 
It's like a lime green and a peach. I have never seen these before. I don't know the pattern. They're, the back of it is a little scalloped. It is marked with the Syracuse China mark on the back. There are three of them. There's one and two and three. They're all identical. I think that they're lovely. I think that they would make a great back piece for a display. Um, I just think that they're beautiful. I, like I said, I wish I had four of them, but maybe you can find a fourth one on eBay, or maybe you have some and you'd like to add more to your collection, but these are lovely. Now, they are restaurant wear, so they're gonna weigh a little bit, so just keep that in mind, but these beautiful restaurant wear Syracuse China plates are up for auction. And on, on, in, on, in my eBay store. That's the right terminology. All right, the next thing are these, they are made in Western Germany. Yes, made in Western Germany. So they are these bird art. They're, um, I don't know what kind of birds these are. Cranes? Wrens? No, cranes. I think they're cranes. Very mid-century. They're on these wood slats. Now the birds themselves are, I don't think that they're Bakelite, but they are a plastic, very nicely made. They do still have their original hangers. And you can see here the sticker on the back it says that they are made in Western Germany. Really nice, really cool mid-century piece. Normally, the, now these may have had another piece that had gone to it, but I like that you could hang them at a little bit of an angle. I think that they would look great in a your decor, like a little boho chic decor. So these are also available in my eBay store. Um, another piece that I have is this really cool, I have some brooches. I know that a lot of you um, love brooches. And this one, and it, believe me, there's going to be some brooches coming up in an upcoming live sale. This one I thought was very special. It, it It's very Art Nouveau. It has, it's silver, and it has a bird up here at the top and a little, what reminds me of Toto from The Wizard of Oz down there, just looking up at that bird. It doesn't have any maker's mark on it as at all, but it does have the little loop clasp there. It is kind of a hollowed out design. Very, it's a very, very neat Piece. It looks very striking against a piece of black fabric, too. I just really, really thought that this would be something that you guys would really like and very lightweight and easy to ship. I just thought it was a very unusual piece. Let's see if we can focus. There we go. And this lovely piece of jewelry is available in my eBay store as an auction. Okay, let's try. Now, I have sold, I had another set of these that I had sold kind of on the same concept with a video auction. These are from the Pacific Railroad Company. And they are, well, that one's a little bonus, but this is a little personal creamer. And then the little butter pat here, all in excellent condition. They do have some crazing, which I, you know, I like the crazing. And then I also have a little personal sugar jar with the Pacific Railroad emblem on it. Nice crazing. The lid is also in excellent condition. And then as a little bonus, I have a little Union Pacific butter pat. It's all going to go together in the set. So you will get all four, well, five pieces if you count the lid of the Pacific Railroad restaurant, no, train car, dining car set. So that is also available in my eBay store. This is a piece that I've had for a while, and I think that it's beautiful. Um, it, is it is made by Pluto from France. So it's a French piece. Very, very, very French looking. I think that it's beautiful. Now, surprisingly enough, I mean, this is an antique piece. And there are no chips and cracks or flaws on it anywhere. It does have crazing, as you can see. So it's an ivory with a blue with these gold um, little designs 
on them. The inside is also glazed, so it was used as a serving pitcher. It's lovely. Look at this handle. It's a very Victorian piece. It's in excellent condition. Let me show you the bottom. Let me make sure it's the right way. Let's see, it says Pluto France. Can you see that? Come on, camera. There we go. Lovely, lovely piece. It would look beautiful with some flowers in it on your table. The bottom of it as well is kind of scalloped and it has the little gold trim there on the bottom. A lovely, lovely piece. And this is available now in my eBay store as an auction. All right, so now I got this girl here. This is a girl head. Now she was what I think is a hat mannequin. She is a little, she's got a suntan line. So I think that she was probably kept in a in on store display or maybe even in a window. And she had a hat on and where she had her hat, there is a little bit of a line. This is kind of that composite material. She does have some cracks and she's an old girl. We all get cracks and wrinkles in our skin. Don't you worry, you're still very lovely. Look at her lovely face. And I love her green eyeshadow and her cute little, I, I believe that she's either from the 50s or from the 60s just by her makeup and her hairstyle. Um, she doesn't have a mark on her anywhere that I, no, she doesn't. She is hollow on the inside. Like I said, she is like a composite material, really in excellent condition. The makeup itself is just still vibrant and, and bright. The only issue is that little bit of a line where she had a hat on, on her display. So you did a nice job. Now she could have also been a jewelry mannequin as well because she has a nice stately neck with that profile. I think that she's lovely. So she is available in my eBay store as an auction. You're so cool. She honestly has scared the bejesus out of me a few times when I've walked in the shop and there she was and she's kind of scary, dimly lit in this store. All right, these I have, I think I've shown these in a haul before. They are these lovely Redware Poodle bookends. Now these have a little stand with a little, I guess little vessel on each end. What I think is a pencil holder. Uh, these are just fun. They're in excellent condition and you do get the set of them. And the gold paint is cold painted on there, but it's still, in very good condition, as well as the lines on the books. And there isn't any damage to the poodles themselves. So all of these, or well, both of these, they're a set, are available in my eBay store. As an auction, as all of these things are, I kind of feel like a broken record. Are you sick of me saying that? You might, you might be. All right, next I have a little Shawnee elephant pitcher or creamer. He's so cute. This one says it's patented USA. Now I do believe that this is Shawnee, a little elephant creamer. Look at his little tusks and his cute little snouty nose. He's in excellent condition. He doesn't have any flaws on him anywhere. Just a cute little nugget. It's a little nugget, a little nugget of a creamer. The trunk is up, which means good luck. And so I thought that he is really cute and is he is also now available. To purchase. So next I have this adorable little Morton Pottery Planter with the little seafoam green deer. Now I have found, this is the, I found a couple of these and I'm, I'm really liking them. Uh, these do pretty well for me on my live sale. So I thought I would try them, at, try it out on eBay because they're very, very pretty popular. And I thought maybe I would give other people a chance to get it if they really, really wanted it and it would be a little bit easier maybe on an eBay auction. So we're gonna give it a try. It's in excellent condition. There aren't any flaws on it anywhere. Just a really cute little Morton pottery. Now I had one of these exactly like this and I kept it for a little while and I used to keep my essential oil bottles in it next to my diffuser. You could also put makeup brushes. I mean, you could put a plant in it. You could put an air plant in it if you would like to, but this is available as an auction in my 
eBay store. I have this set of American Limoges. It's casino wear. I did find these during my shopping trip with other resellers down in Kentucky, and George thought these were pretty cool himself. Now, I they they did come in a big set of them originally, but it's this casino wear, and there is a, um, I still can't remember what that is, a spear, tomahawk, I don't know, but then there's a little fan, but the cool thing about this is the cup itself is shaped like a club, like on a deck of cards. The plates are shaped as a heart, and they have the uh, the suits of cards all the way around it. And it's casino wear. It is American Limoges. It's from the 1950s. Does have crazing on it. I have two cups and two saucers. They're exactly the same. They are both. They're both in excellent condition. Some crazing, no chips or cracks or flaws, but a really pretty cool piece, especially if you have a man cave or if you, you know, just like to collect these kind of different looking tea, uh, cup and saucer sets. I also have, now this was in a video not too long ago and I got a lot of people asking about it. So I thought that I would just go ahead and put it up as an eBay auction. It's this beautiful opal glass light fixture. But the cool thing about it is that it is uranium glass. So if you had this hanging up on your ceiling because it attaches to your ceiling with those little holes right there, so you'd screw it in and it's almost like, kind of like a schoolhouse light in a sense. Um, but if you all had black lights, you could all just you know glow it on there and it would glow. Someone had even said that it would be neat to put a glass or a black light light bulb inside it especially if you used it as a porch light for halloween so it's an excellent condition now this is not going to be fun to ship but i'm going to do it i have shipped worse so this will be packaged very very well um just a fun and unique piece of uranium glass and you can see it's like an opalescent opal glass but very very fun piece of uranium glass. I guess the last couple things have to do with lighting. This is a piece of, I believe it is copper, not brass. I believe that it is copper. It has a, the beautiful tarnished copper look to it. It's a very arts and crafts style light fixture. I have sold these before and have done pretty well with them. It has frosted glass all the way on the inside. And I do believe, in it, well, it has been. It has an updated light fixture in there. It will need to be rewired, uh, but very neat piece of arts and crafts style light fixture. Also will be beautiful on a porch, uh, in a bathroom. Uh, you could even make it into a light fixture if you wanted to mount it on to a really beautiful piece of wood. It could almost be almost like a little accent lamp, but the glass is original to it. All of the, um, the tabs that keep the glass in are in excellent condition. Doesn't come with any of the screws, but those are easy to replace. Really pretty design around the rim. Lovely, lovely piece of arts and craft. There is a little area up here, and I think it's when they put the new, the new light fixture, the new, that part in. You can see it has a little bit of a dent in there, but it's very hard to tell. You just can't go to Walmart and get this kind of patina. So these lamp fixtures usually do pretty good for me. And um, I have several of them. I mean, I don't have like two of the exact same kind. So I thought I would try that one again. And then my favorite thing that I am offering this week, and I think I, you've seen it before, but it, it's so cool. And it's the popsicle stick lamp. Do y'all remember the popsicle stick lamp? Look at this. Who has the time to make a popsicle stick lamp? That is in like, ooh, about lost your drawer. That's in like professional looking condition. And look at the finial. That finial alone is worth a little bit of money. Let me just say, it's got a fancy finial on top. So this lamp is fun. Now I'm not gonna be able to hold this very well and show it to you, but well, maybe I can. It's got a drawer made out of popsicle sticks. Yeah, so that's got a little little stash drawer there. 
but it also has two little hidey holes on each side that are, whoop, get back in it. Maybe I should put you down, drawer. I don't want to drop you. But it's got these two hidey holes on each side of the lamp that are velvet lined with green velvet. Such a fun lamp. Now, this also isn't going to be the funnest thing to ship, but I mean, I can do it. The, I will take the lampshade off and I, you know, it, it can get done. It, the cord on it does need replaced because, well, there isn't an end to it, but that is a fairly easy job if you know what you're doing. Again, let me take you out drawer so I don't lose you or drop you. So you can see here, uh, you can get your hand in there. So it is a job that can be done. I love the little accent hearts. So someone really, really took a lot of time and energy making this lamp happen. Let me take the shade off of it. I mean, again, just this finial alone. You're, you're, you're a good little finial. But see the lamp shake, you could even put use it as a bowl if you would like. But the workmanship is stunning to me. And it has a kind of a lacquer finish to it. Let me show you more detail. I mean, look at how lovely. I mean, if you want an unusual lamp, someone's gonna come over to your house and be like, oh my goodness, look at the design with popsicle sticks. Are you kidding me? So a really cool piece of crafts, arts and crafts and functional trench art piece or tramp art piece. So that is also available in my eBay store as an auction. I think that it's fun. I actually have a couple more lamps very similar that I'm going to be offering very soon as well, but really cool lamp. All right, and guys, that is my, those are my offerings for this week. So as soon as this video is over, you can go on over to my eBay store. My eBay store is Wildflower812. It is linked in the description below. If you have trouble finding it, you can always send me an email, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com, and I will be able to lead you into the right place. The bidding will begin now. It is a seven-day auction, so it will end the same time that it this time next week really pretty much right when I start my live sale next week, which will pick up again every Wednesday at 1 Eastern here on my YouTube channel. I may start doing a little bit of changes because since Emma is not going to be with me, I may start doing, you know, a little, uh, some fewer things on my sale, not doing like 75 things, but then I'm, I am also going to start having some sales on Instagram as well. So please make sure that you do follow me on Instagram so you won't miss out on those offerings as well because you know I got a lot of stuff and I, I, I'm trying to sell it in lots of different ways. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and you had fun and you laughed and I was able to make you smile a little bit. And if you like this video, make sure that you do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment because I adore reading all of your comments. They can be random things like, hey, I like that lamp or yeah, that head's cool. It would scare me too. It doesn't have to make any sense. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. It doesn't matter. Comments do well for content creators channel. So make sure not only on my videos, but other content creators, you go and leave a little bit of a, a comment uh, of some sort. Nice. A nice comment of some sort and it really does help us out okay so this video is over and i will see you in my next one thank you so much guys and have a great rest of your week Bye.